Hey, it's Kevin Tobel with JK on the Run, and it's the day before the 4th of July holiday, so I thought I'd throw together a quick little video because the FedEx man was just here. Woohoo! Yep, I got two Moo Cow boxes from Yay, Gateway. What we have is, let's see, it looks like the E155C tablet PC, and here it is. It still has the shiny plastic on it. I don't even know if I'm going to take this little protective cover off or not, but I'll tell you what, it reminds me a lot of my old Toshiba M205 tablet. Uh, same size, 12.1 inch screen, um, about oh, maybe an inch and a quarter thick, inch and a half thick, convertible. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a quick look. What do we have? What do we have? I'll tell you what, before I even open it, before I even open it, we will just start right here. On the right hand side, as it faces me, we've got an integrated optical drive, DVD, rewrite, uh, plus R, you name it, it's in there. Um, one thing I didn't have with the Toshiba, and I actually never missed, I've often carried when I needed my uh, Toshiba USB optical drive. Just not, I don't install a lot from uh, CD, or I don't need to write DVDs, but nice to have. It has a little bit of weight, I think. I almost missed the headphone jack and microphone jack over here and we've got two USB ports on the right hand side good placement we've got a little firewire guy right there very nice let's turn around to see the front nothing to see here no buttons no features no lights no nothing got our little release button but we'll get to that in a minute what else do we have here I'm really just looking at this for oh, the first time looks like we've got our venting fan port here uh, VGA out Hmm, interesting. What could that be? And we've got Ethernet, PCMCIA slot, and looks like a little, uh, oh it is, looks, looks like a little uh, SD, little memory card reader right there. I like that, and I had that on the Toshiba. I used it all the time. In fact, you can, uh, on the Toshiba, make that bootable, so I'm going to see if I can do that right here. And on the back side, doesn't look like much. We've got a Kensington lock over here. We've got our AC adapter port here. This is the battery. And we've got a telephone jack right there. Let's see, battery, battery, battery. Oh, there's a little LED indicator light. Oh yeah, there we go. We got a little bit of a charge in there too. We'll have to fire that up. Looks like two little slots, tabs to remove the battery, which I'm gonna do real quick, just so I can get a peek at the battery. And I'll tell you what, this battery is pretty small. Let me give you something to compare it to. Uh, T-Mobile Dash telephone. Hmm. I would say this is their standard four cell battery because really there's nothing here, so the cells have to be in here and in here. That could be interesting. And I don't know what the watt hours are on this yet. Let's take a look right here. Here's how it fits back on. Do that backwards. I did. There we go. Goes in nice and solid. Doesn't pull out. That's cool. All right, let's open it up. Press the button here. Open her up. Whoa, let's get rid of that glare. Hmm. Looks pretty nice. See lots of hardware buttons right here. Let's see if I can give you a better look at them without giving you all the glare. Do it this way, perhaps? I don't know. What do we have? We've got a power button here. Looks like a dedicated control alt delete, which is mandatory for tablet PCs. Screen rotation. Uh, not sure what that is. And looks like a dedicated Wi Fi on off, probably to turn that radio on off. This side we've got a fingerprint reader. That's nice. We've got an OK and we've got an arrow. And I notice there are speakers. Let me see if I can show you these. There's a speaker underneath here, and there's one on the opposite side as well. Right over here. Very nice. And let's see something here. Oh, the so that way goes both ways. Very interesting. Does it go all the way around? No, it shouldn't really. Very nice. So you can put it right at the slate mode. That's nice. And I'm guessing, yeah, based on that hinge, you can go 180. Very nice. All right. I guess see something here. We'll put it back. This way, and looks like they've got that uh, little clip that we're starting to see on tablets that, yep, just flips right over. Now it's on the back side. There's no in between. 
I've got a spring in there. Interesting. So if I do that, I can then close it up, and now we're in slate mode. Okay. I must have missed the pen housing. There is a pen, isn't there? Ah, there it is right there. Push. And here we go. Okay. Hmm. Again, frame of reference, T-Mobile Dash. Not as long as some styli I have used. Here's the one I currently use. Let's see if I can do that. Okay. Still light. We've got a little button here, two buttons, one, two, for zoom, unless that's just a single button. You know what? I think it's a single button. It doesn't, it's not a rocker button. It goes this way and that way. It looks like it only goes down one way, which I prefer. Good, good, good. And then we've got an eraser here. Cool. Let's see if we can erase. Okay. All right. Let's take a better look here at how I would normally use it, which would be like this. See if I can do this. The writing surface feels nice and smooth. And you know what? I'm going to turn it on because this is one of the few uh, dual touch, I guess is the best way to call it. You can call it multi touch, dual touch, whatever you want. Let's fire it up, get things going here. Um, this is actually a touch screen as well. So I'm going to take a look and see how well that Gateway has implemented the dual touch, uh, touch screen as well as active digitizer because it is uh, Wacom enabled. Let's see if I can get that right there. There's a little Wacom. There's Wacom-ole, Wacom. Maybe it's Wacom. Depends on how you say it, where you're from. And it's booting up. Looks like it's XP Tablet Edition 2005. Hmm. Uh, while it's booting, let me, let me think about that for a second. And uh, also take a look at the other specs. Looks like, well, as I've said, the 12.1 inch screen, 1280 by 800 resolution. That's not too bad. I don't, wouldn't want any smaller than that. I'm used to a higher resolution on the Toshiba at this size. We talked about the DVD drive. I'm just going through the specs on the box here. Uh, 80 gig, 5400 RPM drive. Okay, that's not bad. So this is not 4200. And 80 gig is plenty for me personally. That's good. Uh, four cell lithium ion battery. I was correct. I was correct. Now, I also notice in another box that I've got a bigger battery, and I bet you this is their six cell battery. And that should give you roughly 50% more battery life. So, we'll be doing battery life tests. Uh, core dual processor, the U7500, that's pretty slow, relatively speaking. That's a 1.06 gigahertz CPU. Hmm. Be interesting to compare that to uh, the. Pentium M1 gigahertz in here. Granted, different machines, different architecture, different purposes, but still, I'd be curious to see that. And what else, what else, what else of note? Hey, it looks like Microsoft OneNote is included. In my opinion, best piece of software Microsoft has produced in several years. Hoot, very good. All right, and the Microsoft Experience Pack, looks like it's pre-installed. That's a plus. Microsoft Education Pack, too, for tablet PCs. Nice. All right, we are booted. And let's just get rid of, actually, let's let's use touch since I just dropped the pen to get rid of that little box. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can, oh, I didn't do that. Security sign. Close that. And move, the, yeah, looky, looky. Touch screen, touch screen. be interesting to see how this is going to react to both the pen and the screen. And obviously, I haven't read any manuals yet because the box just got here not too long ago. Hmm. Didn't auto rotate, which is interesting, but I could rotate it. You know what? I'm going to real quick open up uh, Windows Journal just so we could do a quick little ink and touch test. Very quick, very quick. It's not a full review. Move the Moo box. Let's see if I can do this without getting glare. And I'm going to go with a thick pen, marker pen. Hi. I did high with the pen and there with my fingernail, not too bad. Now, if I, yeah, if I tap on there with my knuckle, I'm going to get marks. What happens when I, can I make it vector? Can I make it vector? No, I haven't been able to make it vector. Hmm, very good, looks good so far. Okay. Cool. All right.
that shows potential. Maybe we may need to do a little screen calibration. No, I know with my finger I don't want to save this. Okay. Very nice, very nice. So what was that bad boy over here on the left side? That must have to do with the box, the other new box I got. Another one, and ah, these guys are smart. Port replicator. Very cool. And the reason that is very cool is because we all know that if that's the front of the PC, that's the port side. So I'm glad they didn't send me a starboard replicator because there's no starboard dock over here. Very good, very good. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. What do we have? Okay. Huh. So it's not a true dock from what I can see. Put that box down. It looks more like a true port replicator, all jokes aside. Plug into the tablet with this. What do we have? We've got... USB ports on the one side, two of them. That's nice. That adds two more USB ports. I'm sorry, make that three because there's one in the back. Another Firewire. It's like a, uh, maybe a printer port. Serial port. Another VGA out. AC and Ethernet jack. Okay. Very interesting. And there's a power button on the top. Okay. Is that really a parallel printer port? Hmm, interesting. Okay. Well, anyway, that's a quick, quick look at uh, what I got right before the 4th of July holiday here in the States. And I will be uh, probably playing with this during the holiday. And uh, we'll get a review out. All right. If you have any questions on the unit itself, let us know in the comments, and I'll see what I can do about taking care of them in a review. Don't know if it'll be written review, don't know if it'll be video review, maybe a couple different reviews altogether over time. We'll figure it out along the way. Thanks for joining me, and enjoy your 4th of July holiday here in the U.S., and uh, enjoy the rest of your day if you're elsewhere. Bye.